Hi friends. Today in this lesson we are going to discuss about the charge density. Before we discuss the charge density, think about the density what we have already known. Example, one object. Is in one object having mass m its mass is m and imagine its volume is equal to v so how to write the density density d is equal to its total mass divided by volume if you take a very small portion from this one take is very small portion if you take a very small portion from this object and its mass is delta m and its volume is delta v so what is the density of that small portion density d is equal to delta m divided by delta v what we are going to learn here now not this density this is the volume density we are going to learn now here the charge density let's discuss about the charge density now charge density there are mainly we are discussing about three different types of charge density the first one is called linear charge density linear charge density we used to represent the linear charge density as lambda now let me tell you what is meant by linear charge density just imagine a wire and there are many charges are induced say it as there are many positive charges are induced on this wire having length l so what is the total charge now here total charge of this wire is equal to q and you can see here the length of the wire is equal to l so what is the linear charge density you can write here lambda is equal to lambda is equal to the total charge per length right so if you take a very small portion if you take a very small portion from this wire so you can see here the charge density at this point lambda is equal to delta q or maybe smaller to q delta q divided by delta l now think about what is the si unit si unit of linear charge density lambda is equal to coulomb si unit of charge is coulomb and length is meter so what is the si unit here coulomb per meter so this is a linear charge density why it is called linear charge density because the charges are distributed linearly on a single wire move to the next one second one it is called surface charge density surface charge density what is surface charge density we used to represent sigma the letter sigma just imagine a surface this is a one surface just imagine there are many charges are induced or distributed here you can see here the charges are distributed on this plane in an area wise so here what is the total charge here now total charge is equal to q and these charges are distributed on the 
a plane surface. So I can write here what is the surface charge density. Surface charge density sigma is equal to total charge per area. Total charge per area. So what is the area here? You can see there is a plane area. If you take a very small portion in from here, a very small portion from this small area, I can write this equation as sigma is equal to delta Q divided by delta A, area, small area. Once again, the SI unit is here, coulomb per meter square. So what is SI unit here? SI unit is here, coulomb per meter square. Once again, you can see here the charges are distributed on a surface, so that is called, and the, and the density of that is called surface charge density. Okay, now let's move to the third one. Third one is volume charge density. Volume charge density we used to represent rho. Imagine maybe spherical in shape, a sphere, if it is a sphere, the volume is, for example, this is the radius r, the volume v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Instead of this spherical shape, just imagine a cube. Consider its volume V. Maybe you can say that its side is A. Volume V is equal to A cube. Imagine here the charges are distributed everywhere in a volume wise, everywhere, inside, everywhere, volume wise. So I can write here the charge density. It is volume charge density. The charges are distributed in a volume. So volume charge density rho is equal to total charge. What is the total charge here? Q. Total charge divided by total volume. So Q divided by V. So what is the volume charge density? Q divided by V. So its SI unit is coulomb per meter cube charge per volume, coulomb per meter cube. If the shape is a spherical shape, we can write here volume charge density rho is equal to total charge divided by volume. What is the volume? 4 by 3 pi r cube. In this case, we can write the volume charge density is equal to q divided by a cube. So this is a way to represent the three cases linear charge density lambda surface charge density sigma and volume charge density rho okay i hope you understand this one